it's gonna be a B heaven hit. Tens on the front line. Oh, and actually Sean, he was not anticipating the tailwind <laughs> to fly in and instead tens. It's just so much that GMD had to worry about. And also the switch up there too, GMD playing the Omen. Uh, they, I, I asked the thing about Genji, they're always gonna be playing new things and trying out new different, uh, new compositions, new roles. New crosshairs, what was that win? New, yeah. <laughs> Oh no, Sean gets tens with that blast pack. It still does damage. You still have to respect it. Slow play here. A lot of low health coming in from the Gen G side. They're looking to just pry anybody out of their position now. These shots are to say, hey, maybe they're shooting at my teammate. All pink. No one's biting except for a quick one for one there. Dropping the site. Will they be able to actually get this lead? Comes up almost. Gets it. And this is going to be the defuse for player one. Genji perseveres with very low HP on the way for pistol round retake. Yeah, I mean that. Vice ready to throw one out. And it looks like he's going to help from the other side of the map and then be flanked. So this is actually pretty cool if he keeps going. And he's going to ult into the back of the site, actually. Yeah, it does that right with the timing that allowed his teammate to pull the attention away from the defender on the site now. Sean, though, jumps down. Three players going to be right in front of Leaf. Let's see what Leaf is made of here. Oh, no. Instead, it will be... A hurts Cloud9 on what they want to do. Yeah, I would like to see Cloud9 start to focus more toward uh, taking mid control. Because I feel like even with the utility that's been played out there, like that is mm -hmm. the, the best place for them to be. The, like stuff Oop. like this is like, like what you necessarily would want. That was an unfortunate timing issue though. The player one was just waiting for the opportunity. GMD with the oh. third. Yeah, they... Good plan. A smart response though, Riv, from, from Gen G, right? A lot of... Just anti flashes just to stop him from pushing in the site, but yeah. it actually worked out well Whoop. for C9. I spy. We'll see if that can help them. Forced out. What a shot from Tens. Oh my word. Just playing grid shot over here. Sean able to finally drop Tens down after he wreaks havoc. And now it's the retake. Gen G says, no, thank you. Save for this. We will keep the weapons we have. They don't have to commit to this because they're going to be focusing more on the A site. But so much work is being done on B that now C9 has the opening at A to get Spike down and play for the post plant. Nicely done. Way to really just work them around the map. Oh, no, that's not good. I was just praising wow. him and then they just lost two players at the drop of a hat. That's again, the blade storm down, not used on this one. They do have the rolling thunder, but a, a defensively used, it's going to be tough. Cloud9. Mitch now on the return. Can he get the flank? He's being watched diligently. The moment they look away, though, is when he takes him, but Mikhail oh. still gets him. Still takes him down. Screams is going to be the war. And Quinn does pull out his blade storm. Alts come to the safety of Gen G so they can pick up mailroom. Break mailroom. Give team or give your entire team space. And Tens is already in the Ooh. spawn of Gen G, but it's not going to matter. Yeah, that is an unfortunate one. Most situations, I think Tens would have been able to hit that shot, but yeah. nicely done by uh, Mikhail in the backfield here. Should take space in mid. Now as we focus here toward this next round, Quinn is waiting for the Whoa. opening, and he got it. He held his shot down, but look out for GMD waiting in the wings. Does manage to get Tens. That's a big loss there. And now here comes the new IGL Vice. Only two players left alive. It's Vice and Mitch in a 2v3. They do have Spike. Mitch, though, has presence up on top of Heaven. They are anticipating any kind of movement here. That's why they're positioned the way that they are. They're going to let them take B site and plan it. Then they'll just focus on the retake if they opt to do it. But a smart play there. The Omen teleport going toward A, making uh. them think that they're going to bait it there, but no one from Gen G bites. They're still waiting this one out. And Sean, the patience from them. Oh, that was a thing of beauty. Yeah, it, it's just resounding. Each round, the patience that they have continues to show, and now they're going to be able to just collapse. Quick breach, one's up, one's down. Challenge the hat goes down, almost impossible to shoot the Cypher, but they make it work, and before we even get done, I blinked once, Golden Boy. They have the site. Yeah, they, they... For sure, and this will be, like you said, that 
Last round of the first half. Again, we're seeing Cloud9 here with Leaf. They're a stand-in after Nobi being taken off the team. So we can't Ooh. expect a ton from C9 here, but still maybe the frags to come through to make these rounds and edge them out. Vice comes up with a big kill there. Mitch to answer with one more four would be great to have, but now it's win for the win. And will he be able to get this with the off? Blade Storm is there. Fires one, and Blade Storm has been drawn. Uh oh. Here we go. Da dun, da dun. Win. <laughs> Blade Storm is out. He knows that one's on site. Spike just went down here. This is going to work to their advantage. Oh, oh, oh leave with the turn on there. Patience, though. Patience. And, and they're just going to ignore that dark cover. Instead, the flash is going to be brilliantly played. They'll get two frags out of that one. The Killjoy is tucked inside of the corner. They can actually back away from this fight. But the problem is, is that you had your spike exposed by himself. So they just needed to double back, get to their teammate. Now it's going to be left up to tens. He has been a superhero at the past. I just don't know if it's going to be fair here against Gen G and their veteran status at tens. Going to help that cause just a little bit to start things oh. off with a double kill here in round 15. And that's why you sing the praises of tens yeah. in a sticky situation. He manages to clutch out two big kills. He's still going to be in a position too, but Mikhail, as a matter of fact, swinging around in heaven, getting that kill. Now it's just going to be relics here alongside with Mitch. That spike is not in play yet, but he knows it will be. He does have paint shells too. You got to do the due diligence. You need to clear mail. Mitch has now gotten out. Where's that cam? That cam was actually waiting for them. And now does Mitch have an opening? He certainly does not Not when you are going to be stunned and flying through the air like that. The team has always managed to pull off scrappy, left. crazy wins in the past. I would that. like to see them rest more on consistency moving forward, but you know, it's always hard to bet tens out. That actually, it, it, scrappy is the best way to put it because let's see the sight take coming in here. Gen G looking to make quick work at some eco guns. Uh, as they avoid going down. But looking at how Cloud9 gets those frags, we do say tens. And then we see so two to an extent. We're also seeing the same thing in, in, in Europe and so on and so forth. But for now, though, we'll continue to, uh, this conversation at a later date because I think C9, they're looking to try and hold on to this game as much as they possibly can. It is going to be match point for Gen G. But as it stands here, you just got player <laughs> one and relics push. I get it. You True. Got flash. True. Up till the next patch. Okay, so a lockdown played on site. Tens further inside of A, but they're going to recommit now to B. Still have an opportunity to win this one here. Relics could play spoiler. Shouldn't expose himself quite yet. There it is. Does manage to pick up one kill. He'll have the protection of the default box. Ten seconds left. But Sean does take him out, and that was going to be because of the damage done on that showstopper earlier. Spike now goes down. Ooh. What is Cloud9's retake capable of doing here? 3v2, 10s, being 10s, up in the air. Oh, hits nope. the hips. The elevation catches him off guard, and Gaman's able to get that kill. Oh, man, so smart there, too. Guimau just got out of there. He was not trying to deal with this. All he has is this turret to work with. Can Mitch clutch this one out? Both players are going to be to the left side. One by the default box, but Ooh. no. Instead, it's player 